It's hard to miss Destiny Washington. She's always the first one off the bench, long on personality. That kid is a smile on two feet. And long on limbs. It's wonderful, like, you don't meet a lot of girls who have, like, really long arms, along with really long legs, because they have, like, <laughs> normal arms and normal legs. She's undoubtedly the Mac's sixth woman of the year. 10 points, six rebounds a game, and she leads the Cardinals in blocks, second in steals. She's just so long, and she she can jump so high, and I just think, like, some people are like, okay, she's still far off, but no, it doesn't matter. I don't think she understands how much, like, I idolize her legs. It's just, I want it, and she has it. I'm jealous. Washington calls them her tree branches, and they're big assets for her role on the team. Rebound, defend get to the basket. It was pretty early on where as a staff we looked at each other when we watched her play and said, wow, we got something special here. When you saw her play, uh, she just, again, she has things that you can't coach. The first of which is, yes, the length. The second, though, is that personality. She cares so hard sometimes, it like makes you mad like, Dad, like, just relax. And she's like, no, I'm not letting the gun. I'm just like. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> She's the loudest person in the room and brings the most energy all the time. I love, love, love when I can like jump on Benny or Jill or Franny for taking a charge. And then I love when Jill can hit a three and I can just scream at her or I'm hyping her up on the bench or something. But it wasn't always that way. The one thing I promised her when she transferred here was I was going to put the smile back on her face when she was on the floor. That was what I noticed when I watched her play on film. Uh, at her previous institution, uh, when she came to me, um, it was just, it wasn't there, you know, and I said, we're going to get that back. Having a coach that really does care about me and wants the best for me and wants me to do better, it makes me feel good. And if you're not happy in a place, you, you're not happy playing basketball, no matter if you're doing good or not. And he just brought all that back to me and the smile is probably not going to go away until I graduate. What will eventually go away, though, is her sixth woman role because there's a bigger one on the horizon. If you remember with Natalie, like my, the first two years, I never, we didn't have a play for Nat. Literally, we didn't have one. And she was our leading scorer because she just, she played within the system and, and it was more about the ball and space with her. Um, you know, and, and so you fast forward a couple years and now Destiny, you see a lot of the same attributes. I've heard the comparisons and it's a lot of stuff that Nat can do that I can't and it's some stuff that I can do that she can't. But um, it's nice being compared to her sometimes, but I always want people to see me for me. But the comparison's understandable. Similar builds, similar early role. They practiced versus each other last year. She definitely had energy all the time. She never let up on me at all. She was always going to rebound, so I always had to box her out. I had to make sure I got her out before she got in the paint, which made me a better rebounder. I think you're going to see the same kind of growth and. Um, it, it may sound crazy, but I think we can see the same types of numbers from her that we saw from Natalie. For now, though, the cards will settle if she can just be the best sixth player she can be. Joel Godet, Ball State All Access and BallStateSports.com.